So the Monarch 1 trial was a, um, a straight phase 2 study of single agent abemacyclib, which is a CDK4 and CDK6 inhibitor um, in previously treated women with hormone receptor positive metastatic breast cancer. Um, and it was a multi-center trial. Um, the study enrolled 132 women um, who had previously received endocrine therapy um, and also at least one, but not more than two chemotherapies for metastatic disease. So it was a group of women where we typically wouldn't offer additional endocrine therapy and that their typical next treatment or standard of care would be chemotherapy. And we know in that setting, um, response rates for chemotherapy are on the order of about 10 to 20 percent with progression-free survival of about three to four months. So this trial was specifically testing single agent of emacyclib in a more heavily pretreated patient population. And I mention that because it's different from the other cell cycle inhibitor studies that are ongoing, which are actually earlier in metastatic disease, either in combination with first-line endocrine therapy with the aromatase inhibitors, or in combination with second-line endocrine therapy like with fulvestrant. Um, and what they found was that women um, treated with abemacyclib in this setting um, had a response rate of 19.7% um, and a clinical benefit rate of about 42%, um, which was impressive because it was not only a heavily pretreated patient population, but about 90% of the patients had visceral metastases, about 70% had liver metastases, um, um, more than half had three sites of metastatic disease. Um, and then in terms of prior therapy, all patients um, had received um, taxanes, with about 70% receiving taxanes in the metastatic setting.